Hi, welcome along to another video. As always, the links to the articles are in the information section of this video. First news we're going to deal with is from North Dakota in the USA. Can't show you the article because we're banned, obviously, in the UK because we're not in the EU. So you can search for it yourself. It's District 2 2020 End of Season operations summary and you can put north dakota in there as well and if you're in the usa you'll be able to find that article the bullet point that we can see as of september the 1st cloud seeding has concluded for the district 2 operations area of the 2020 north dakota cloud modification project for the season there were 325 flight hours flown over to the antarctic and thwaites glacier that's melting away raising sea levels to unimaginable levels and there's a piece about CNN quoting someone suggestions of geoengineering and blocking the channels are not logistically feasible at such a remote site in his opinion the world should tackle climate change it doesn't really matter what your view is on climate change we'll all agree geoengineering the Antarctic is not a wise idea even though it's already happening over to Channel News Asia about Indonesia this article is about a scientist that's receiving death threats and intimidation because of his environmental reports on the forest fires. The first part of the article is about this person and the problems and the last part of the article is also about that. The slap bang in the middle is the paragraph. The government has agreed to control fires as soon as possible. So operations like weather modification and video call meetings with all the local governments have been conducted. Back over to the USA, Homeland Security Newswire. Climate engineering, modelling projections over simplify risks. And the article isn't, that, isn't actually anything new. It mainly explains what climate engineering is, what geoengineering is, and then that there's a need for regulation. Over to the Philippines, the Philippine News Agency. Cloud seeding over Pantabangan Dam set. You remember we've, we're covering this story for quite a few weeks. At least 100 people, including farmers and irrigation officials, were commissioned as spotters of clouds for a cloud seeding operation to boost Pantabangan Dam water reserve. The NIA administrator issued a green light to the activity to induce rains over Pantabangan Reservoir or watershed in preparation for the dry crop season of 2021. The carrier had conducted a familiarisation flight over the area. That was on the 13th of September. On the 15th, cloud seeding raises Pantabangan Dam water level. This is in the Inquirer. On Saturday, a plane from the 900th Air Force Weather Group, Cloud, was sent to NIA Upris to start the operation. Though no clouds were spotted that day, the plane took off for actual cloud seeding the following day. Back over to the United States of America, Flagstaff, Arizona, on September the 18th to the 27th, there is a science festival, if we take a look at the schedule, on Wednesday the 23rd of September at 5pm Arizona time, so Pacific time, I guess, which will be about 10pm UK time, 11pm European time, and about 7am Australian time. Can we control the weather? With Brian Klimowski. Scientists have long tried to control the weather from increasing rain and snow levels to preventing tornadoes and hail. We'll take a look at weather modification successes and epic failures and dive into the science behind what can and can't be done. Entertainment news, if you remember the band The Stone Roses, Ian Brown, the singer, I don't know who Jedward Dunking is, to be honest, but Jedward Dunking on the Stone Roses' Ian Brown over his Covid conspiracies is wonderful to see. So Stone Roses frontman, Ian Brown. Brown hasn't just been spreading the usual anti-lockdown Covid conspiracies on social media. His latest solo album, released last week, is full of lines about anti-government trust and chemtrails. It's also apparently not very good either. I don't know whether he means the album or the chemtrails, but I think they mean the chemtrails. In the Sonoma State Star, weather modification for military gain. Just take a couple of paragraphs from this article. 
Nevertheless, there have been numerous occasions where America has decided to ignore the very treaty they sign, one of which being Operation HARP, High Frequency Active Auroral Research, which was a weapon of mass destruction operating from the outer atmosphere and capable of destabilizing agricultural and ecological systems around the world. What right does any military in any country around the world have to possess or have possessed the kind of knowledge gained throughout HARP's research? The answer is none. There is no right. The weather is not a weapon of mass destruction that the military can monopolise and manipulate for selfish use in the name of defence. The idea that the weather is some kind of tangible object that the United States can control, such as precipitation denial, to induce droughts in countries and deny people fresh water in times of war, is without a doubt inhumane. Regardless of its intended use, as if the United States does not already use taxpayer money to play with military-grade toys in other countries daily, they have to mili militarise the weather too? Excellent article. Love it. And the treaty that the person is speaking about? The United Nations Treaty Convention on the Prohibition of Military or any other hostile use of, of environmental modification techniques and it was adopted by the General Assembly of the United Nations on the 10th of December 1976. There's a link to that in the info section if you fancy a read, 37 pages, not too long. Also available in French, Arabic, Chinese, Russian and Spanish. Over to Climate Engineering News. There's a new paper out, Pandemic Politics, Lessons for Solar Geoengineering. And the abstract, responses to the COVID-19 emergency have exposed breakpoints in the interface of science, media and policy. We summarise five lessons that should be heeded if climate change ever enters a state of emergency perceived to warrant stratospheric aerosol injection. Over to Euro Money. This is a subscription article, so... Um, Oasis in the Desert, Israel, United Arab Emirates, Agreement sees benefits for both sides. Bankers see huge opportunities on both sides as Israel signs historic agreement with the UAE and Bahrain. So the bullet point of that is the national water company Mekorot is a world leader in desalination, water reclamation and cloud seeding and supplies 90% of Israel's drinking water. Back over to America. In Montana, DNRC wants more public input if cloud seeding is approved. If the 2021 legislature approves, Montana could join a few western states trying to counteract the effects of climate change with cloud seeding. But the Department of Natural Resources Conservation wants the public to stay involved. So this is your call up. If you know people in Montana, make sure they get to know about this. The Water Policy Committee has one more meeting in October before the interim session ends. So Sales suggested that the committee members wait until October so they can collect more information before voting on the DNRC's requested change. There's a quote, I think that MEPA is necessary so you get that public voice. If it's really loud and really a problem and we need more information to process a permit, then I think that's where the public voice needs to be maintained. So you are being called up in Montana. Do you agree with having your weather modified or not? If not, you need to take action. The committee is also considering increasing a cloud seeding company's insurance liability to $1 million from $100,000. It's said $100,000 wouldn't cover much in the case of an accidental flood or other unforeseen hazard caused by cloud seeding. The committee is requesting input on this and other bills and studies they've produced during the interim before their October meeting, which is yet to be scheduled. Please pass that information on. Only by speaking out en masse to these people that make the rules and regulations are we going to get anywhere. That was a roundup for your news. Look after yourselves, take care. Thanks for your comments on YouTube, they're always really interesting to read. See you next time.